service. Today, we're gonna be talking about your words have power. Our scripture comes from Proverbs 18 and 21. There will be a short lesson along with some videos that will explain why it's important to be careful of what comes out of your mouth and why is it important to be a positive influence. Mr. Earl, I'm so mad right now. Hold up, Bert. What is going on? Bernice took a picture of me today at school and used an app on her phone to make me look ugly. She printed it out and hung them up all over the school. Okay, Bert. I know this seems bad. Seems bad? If she thinks she is cool, I'm going to go online and say something mean about her. Hold on, Bert. I thought you were a leader. Leader? What does being a leader have to do with it? Well, as a leader, even when things feel really bad, they use something called influence for good. Influence? What is that? Influence is having a way to change things or how people feel or what they do. You mean like how my Granny Maxine makes me feel better by saying simple things and then I feel better? Exactly. Your words have power in them. How you use them can build people up or tear them down. You don't want to waste them. Really, Mr. Earl? Really, Bird. Your words can change lives. Be careful with the words you say. There's an old saying that sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That is so not true, Mr. Earl. I feel like every day Bernice always has something mean to say about me, my clothes, or my hair. And how does that make you feel? It makes me feel awful, Mr. Earl. So do you want to be known as someone who makes other people feel like Bernice does? No way. I hate feeling like someone is picking on me all the time, and I don't want people to think that I do that kind of stuff. I know it hurts when Bernice picks on you but never try to pay someone back with evil. When someone does something bad to you, repay them back with goodness. And trust me, down the line, although Bernice may never change, your words and being a kind person to others will influence other kids to join the revolution and be kind to others. You are right, Mr. Earl. I don't want to be that type of kid who goes around saying mean things or trying to hurt people's feelings. I'm going to be a better leader and be kind to others. Thanks for all your help. You got it, little lady. And remember, kindness always wins. In the video, the little girl bird was not happy because another student took her picture and placed it all over school without her permission. Bird had every right to be upset. If someone does something to you and it makes you upset, you need to tell a teacher or an adult. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 and 8, you reap what you sow. Meaning, if you, if you bring harm to others or speak mean things, it will come back to you. God doesn't like it when we mistreat one another. Another Bible verse is Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 and 38. God's greatest commandment is love. We wouldn't want to harm ourselves, so God says don't do it to others. We must love, be kind. We are to be great leaders and positive world changers. So let's speak words with positive power and be great to positive influences. Now here is another video talks about how you can be a world changer and a positive influence. There are lots of ideas how you can change the world. Some people think you should just complain about it. I won't change the world, they'll just make it mad. Some people think you have, have lots of money money. Make it rain everywhere you go. <laughs> Holla for a dollar. Some people think you have to be really loud and yell a lot. It's like with a bullhorn shouting. Hey you, yeah you, do it my way right now. You heard? Other people choose to just make fun of everything. That's dumb, that's dumb, everyone's dumb. It's easier to make fun of stuff, but it's cooler to make stuff. Some people think changing the world can only be done by the smartest person in the world. Just put them in a room, let them figure it out. The solution of world hunger? Food. 
Wow, that was like so amazing. Some people see the bad in the world and they just decide to ignore it. But that won't help anything. Some people think you have to be really famous and super cool. In fact, lots of people think you have to be really powerful to make a difference. Like being mayor or senator or president. But the truth is, a title doesn't make you more important. The world is changed by you. It's one person filled with love. And they just have to live it out so they do something awesome. Then that person is filled with love and they do something awesome. It just goes on and on and on and on. And the next thing you know, everything's awesome. Words that come out of your mouth are powerful. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and uh, I went to a rodeo last week. Yeah, it was awesome. Like, a rodeo with, like, real cowboys, and there was all kinds of cool stuff. You know, there was lots of animals there, and there were, there were cowboys and tons and tons of people, and there was good food. And one of the coolest things that happened was the bull riding. Okay, so what they do is they've got, they've got this bull, right, which is, like, a really big, like, boy cow, okay, and it's really mad. And they have the guy sit on the bull, and he has one hand that he kind of hangs onto this strap, and then he puts the other hand like up in the air like this. And then he's got to hang on to the bull for eight seconds. And when I heard them say eight seconds, I was like, eight seconds? That's like, that's like nothing. I could do anything for eight seconds. And if you hang on for eight seconds, then they'll judge how well you did. And uh, then whoever did the best, they win. But you can't win unless you hang on for eight seconds. And I'm just like, eight seconds? That seems like nothing. It's not nothing. Because the guy, he was on the bull, and he was strapped in, and he had his hand up in the air. And they opened the gate, and the buzzer sounded. And this bull ran out of this pen so fast. And the guy was hanging on there, and the bull is just shaking around. He's like, vroom, 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 la, 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 la. And I saw three people get thrown right off the bull in, like, three seconds. There was a big, there was a big timer up on the thing. And there weren't that many people who made it the whole eight seconds. And it was crazy to watch, you know, these people just getting thrown around like rag dolls. Man, those bulls were so powerful and, and, and big and kind of scary. But you know what? The Bible says that you can tame a bull, right? You can tame pretty much any animal or at least put it in a cage, right? But you know what? You cannot tame your tongue. Yeah. Ah, your tongue. And I'm not saying that your tongue is like the most powerful muscle in your body. What I'm saying is that with the words that you say you can do some pretty terrible things or some pretty great things. Our words have power to them. Our, our words have the power to build people up or tear them down. And the Bible says that if you can control your tongue, you can do anything. But man, that can be hard. It's so easy to say mean things to people. It's so easy to lie. It's so easy to use our words to hurt other people. I heard somewhere that you have to hear seven good things about yourself to make up for one bad thing that you heard about yourself. So man, we gotta be really, really careful with our words. Our words can be scarier than a raging bull. And we gotta control our tongues for our whole lives. So that's a lot longer than eight seconds. So my challenge to you guys is this. My challenge is that you would do your very, very best to use your words to build people up and to not tear them down. To use your words to encourage people and not discourage them. To use your words to show people how awesome God is, not how awesome you are. Because the words that you say and that I say are powerful. I feel it in the air right now It's all around, I see it everywhere It's the power, yeah Broken heart is the power. Yeah, God's power. So don't hold back, no, don't hold still. Cause God is here and He's
Yeah, I got power. 